So to start with, we need to enable the Apex Destruction plugin. So if we go to Edit, down to Plugins, and search Apex Destruction. Enable it, and restart Unreal. So now we want to create a mesh so we can destroy it. So if we go to Cube, and copy it over, right click on it, and go up to Create Destructible Mesh. We want to leave the damage threshold at 1, so the mesh gets destroyed straight away. Change damage spread to 1. We don't want to enable impact damage as we don't want to destroy the mesh when walking into it. Change the debris lifetime between 1 to 5 seconds. And tick accumulate damage as we want the mesh to remember how much damage it's taken before it's destroyed, and tick Debris Timeout. We want to enable Debris, and change Debris Depth to 1. If we click Fracture Mesh, and adjust explode amount, we can preview how the cube will be destroyed. We now need to make a force to destroy the mesh. If we search for radial force actor and then drag this into our scene, create a blueprint from this, create blueprint. Select our force component, and increase our impulse strength and increase our force strength. We'll increase the destructible damage to match our damage threshold and our destructible mesh, so this will destroy it straight away. Compile and save. If we go into our event graph and create a custom event. Rename this to force. Grab our force component again. Drag off and search for Fire Impulse. So when our custom event is activated, it should fire the impulse. So if we search for our cube, and drag that into our scene. And search for our first person blueprint. and search for an input, so I've chosen our right mouse button. Drag off and search for get actor of class. Select our radial force actor. Drag off our return value and get our custom event, so force. 
So every time we hit the right mouse button, it should our, set off our custom event. So now when I click play, when I click the right mouse button, the cube should explode. As we enabled debris timeout and set our debris lifetime between 1 and 5 seconds, enabled debris, the bits of cube should disappear between 1 and 5 seconds. So if we go back into our destructible mesh, as we have accumulate damage checked, increase the damage threshold to 4, save and fracture mesh. Go back into our radial force actor. As our destructible damage is 1, when we click play, it'll take us a few more times hitting the right mouse button for our destructible mesh to explode. As you can see, if we go into our radial force, select our force component and decrease our impulse strength and decrease our force strength. The explosion's a lot weaker.